this is first hour with summit times as per the health bulletin sikkim recorded 14 new cases as on 8 am thursday taking the number of active cases to 395 while the number of cases recorded so far in the state now stands at 610 10 cases were detected in east sikkim Three are employees of Raj Bhavan Post Office. They are the husband, mother and father-in-law of the agriculture department employee who had tested positive earlier. Two are from Rangpu, one from Majitar and four are from Mamri. All contacts of the Rangpu death ritual. Four cases were detected in South Sikkim. Three from Samardung Alchem Pharmaceuticals, one from Jorthang Majigaon. These cases could also be related to the Rangpu death ritual. Meanwhile 16 persons were discharged. However, as per the East District Administration, 24 new positive cases from 98 total samples were reported from IBM and Majigaon contacts on 29th July. All samples were taken from primary contacts of positive cases from containment zones. All have been shifted to COVID care centers. The containment orders for Krishi Bhavan, the Sun Pharma unit at Setipul and the Golden Cross Pharma factory at Tarpon near Rorathang have been lifted by the East District Administration. It may be recalled that these zones had been declared containment zones by the East District Administration on 18 July after COVID-19 cases were detected there. Sikkim Milk Union has said that there will be no milk supply in East District on 30th and 31st of July. The reasons given by Sikkim Milk are that the barricades put up by villagers to keep themselves safe has made it difficult for transport of milk from the villages. Sikkim Milk has also put restrictions on fetching milk from containment areas temporarily and landslides have also affected the transport of milk. On receipt of complaints from local residents about smuggling of Sikkim liquor across the border at Majitar near Jorthang Sikkim police has reinforced the existing barricades and put in place 24-hour watch in coordination with the excise department. The police have also taken fresh inventory of stocks and sealed liquor shops in the area. According to sources, the smuggling of liquor across the border was an open secret, but during these times of the pandemic, it poses a greater threat, which is why the local residents have complained to the authorities. According to Health Secretary Dr. P.T. Bhutia, A 17-year-old girl from Dentam in West Sikkim was brought to Namchi District Hospital recently for treatment. She later tested positive for COVID-19, following which the emergency ward, the X-ray lab and the pediatrics ward of the hospital have been contained. All the family members of the girl have tested negative for COVID-19. Folk musician, composer and lyricist Padma Shri Sonam Chiring Lepcha has passed away at the age of 92. He was the first person from the Lepcha community to be aired on All India Radio in 1960. He was also known for promoting and reviving the Lepcha culture. He was accredited with the prestigious Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1995 and was also honored by the Indian government with the Padma Shri in 2007 for his contribution towards folk music. He was also included in the top 50 for the Tagore Academy Ratna Award and was conferred with the Lifetime Achievement Award by the Gorkha Territorial Administration in 2020. The National Socialist Council of Nagaland Kaplang faction known as NSCNK has reportedly split for the third time in a decade and the second split since demise of SS Kaplang. After the death of NSCNK chairman Kaplang on 9th June 2017 the Myanmar based Naga outfit split into NSCN Yung Ang and NSCN Khango Konyak According to reports NSCNK appointed a new chairman and general secretary on 28 July after its chairman Yung Ang reportedly joined NSCN Isak Muiva NSCN IM has however refuted the report of Ang joining their fold saying he is still with the NSCNK According to sources there are nearly 1000 NSC and IM cadres operating along the China Myanmar border led by former CNC Hung Ting Shimrang and deputy CNC A Raman It is only for so long that politicians can resist playing politics even in these covid pandemic times Playing politics in our country's context means switching loyalties 
six Congress Corporators and one National People's Party Corporator of the Imphal Municipal Corporation have joined the BJP. They joined the BJP at a function on Wednesday which was attended by Chief Minister N. Biren Singh and BJP State President Prof. S. Tikendra Singh. While municipal level politics is not usually considered of much consequence, it gained significance in Manipur where Congress was breathing down hard on the BJP government and even toying with a no-confidence motion against the government. Those plans must be getting a pause now. Just when we were warming for the reopening of gyms as the nation enters unlock phase 3, came a big wet blanket. COVID-19 cases in India crossed the 50,000 mark in a single day for the first time, pushing the virus tally to 15,83,792. Don't lose hope just yet, recoveries have now gone past 10 lakhs. The country registered a record increase of 52,123 infections in a span of 24 hours, while the death toll climbed to 34,968 with 775 people succumbing to the disease in a single day. The new cases were detected from the little over 4.46 lakh samples tested on Wednesday. The Tamil Nadu government on Thursday announced an extension of the coronavirus-induced lockdown in the state till 31st August but with more relaxations, including scaling up workforce in private establishments and allowing dine-in services in hotels and restaurants. As of Thursday, Tamil Nadu had 2.34 lakh COVID-19 cases, including 3,741 deaths. The existing ban on religious congregations, operation of public transport, including metro rail, shopping malls, theatres and bars, and all kinds of political and sporting activities, interstate public and private transport will continue. NASA's latest Mars rover Perseverance launched on Thursday on an astrobiology mission to look for signs of ancient microbial life. Seriously, we want to look for ancient microbial life at a time when a microbial thing has us on our knees? The NASA scientists sure have a wicked sense of humor and no sense of timing. On a serious note, the rover will also fly a helicopter drone on another world for the first time. Agreed, even that is unlikely to excite most people. But before you click away to check a WhatsApp forward, learn some more about Perseverance. It is about the size of a small SUV weighs a metric ton, has 19 cameras and two microphones, which scientists hope will be the first to record sound on Mars. It has a two-meter-long robotic arm and is powered by a small nuclear battery. Once on the surface, NASA will deploy the Ingenuity Mars helicopter, a 1.8-kilogram aircraft that will attempt to fly in an atmosphere that is only 1% the density of Earth's. Perseverance's primary mission is to scour the planet for evidence of ancient life forms. Let's stay with good news slightly longer. Johnson & Johnson on Thursday kicked off US human safety trials for its COVID-19 vaccine after releasing details of a study in monkeys that showed that its best-performing vaccine candidate offered strong protection in a single dose. When exposed to the virus, all six animals who got the vaccine were completely protected from lung disease and five out of six were protected from infection as measured by the presence of virus in nasal swabs. The scientists are confident that they can now test a single-shot vaccine for this epidemic. The drug maker said it had started early-stage human trials in the United States and Belgium and will carry out the test in over 1,000 healthy adults aged 18 to 55 years as well as adults aged 65 years and older. Depending on the results, J&J plans to start large-scale phase 3 testing with a single-shot regimen in the second half of September. And now for the bizarre news section. Now for some social distancing humor. Public health experts are divided on the efficacy of face masks. Protection offered by most of them is suspect, and that is not the only problem. Wearing a mask also gives people a false sense of security and they skip the social distancing requirement as a result. Let's accept it. N95 masks were originally designed to protect people from air pollution. A virus is much smaller than the smallest particle that Delhi's air can send into your lungs. So social distancing is a more reliable protection against the virus. If you agree, you will love this guy spotted in the suburb of Belgrave near Melbourne in Australia. This man is not taking any chances. 
When he had to step out, he walked around in a giant plastic bubble. This bubble is only the latest in the long line of weird things that people have been using to minimize human contact and maintain social distancing amid the pandemic. This is not the only instance of people taking bizarre protective measures. Another that was shared on Facebook this Sunday shows a man wearing a cone that is generally meant for animals. Then there have been instances of people wearing discs and even cardboard cutouts to keep people at a distance and some desi jugars as well. Whoever said that we cannot have a good laugh even as the virus has us covering. So go ahead, wear a mask to avoid being embarrassed by overzealous cops, but make sure you observe social distancing for your own safety. Smile more often, stay strong, stay positive. Thanks for tuning in.